Oh, g'day champions. How's it here? And welcome to Australia Day. We have got an absolutely cracker of a schedule on the cards for you and it has been Barry nuking all week. So make sure you jump on the frog and toad and head up here, strap a bit of snow gear to your running sticks because it is going to be one hell of a grouse day. First thing out of the pavilion, we're heading up the top and we're actually letting a roo loose in the top paddock. That'll be Boomer the Kangaroo, our Aussie mascot, and we're ripping down Kangaroo Run with him from 11 a.m. In typical Aussie fashion, I'm sure there'll be a few bloody mongrels up there getting around in their bikinis and their fart filters. Got no idea why. They're about as useful as a fly screen on a submarine up here, but good on ya. But please be sure if you are heading down in that fashion, make sure you ride safe with that lack of gear on your rigs. Once you've realised how much you regret that decision, pop in for smoker at the woods from 11am and warm up your pretzel by the fireplace. As for the tucker, we're going to be having a sausage sizzle or a banger in bread, snago and a sanger, whatever you want to call it. And as for you Canadians, a snago and a sanger is an Australian delicacy and a sacrament. But for all of you who need it explained, I've put together a little cooking show because I'm starving and I could eat the crutch out of a low-flying pigeon. All right, so here it is, the 101 do a sausage sizzle. What you do is get yourself a square bit of bread, turn it sideways, get your banger, slap it in diagonally, fold the sides up, dead horse down the guts, stick it in your gob, you're good as gold. Now that will put lead in your pencil. Now I hope you got all that, pretty full on stuff, but once you've got your kit back on, you're more than welcome to hang around the woods into the Arvo. Grab yourself a nice pint of problem solver, bend the elbow and talk a bit of turkey mate. This has been your bloke Hazza, thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to wrap up your evening with a nice warm hot tub. But if you've got one of those high powered jet units, don't sit on its side saddle, it'll make your eyelids flutter.